The Bonans, they are very good mothers. They don't leave their children at home. They go with them on safari anywhere. Prince, Marindas, Marindas with their wolves, the Marino. The sheep sharing. This is Tassos from Ruru. From Ruru. Ana ujisho rasmi vile wanafanya kwa hivyo naomba mwelekeze aweze kujionea kisha baadaye hivi this time we have a way of utilizing this and your own is to work very well so they are sharing and I think what I can do is on the and the whole can be utilized in making marks, scarves, yeah. It's very warm. The course is warm. The marks are warm. Well, let me just say that uh, today is uh, the second day after the president officially opened the this year's agricultural show and i'm here with uh, the chairman the ceo uh, the C, uh, ps from uh, agriculture in charge of crops and uh, i can only make a few comments and then get to hear your questions and i'm sure even the members of the ask ASK who are here will be happy to respond to those that may be specific uh, to them. But uh, <clears throat> the first thing I want to say is that um, um, we are happy that uh, after the very difficult challenges when uh, COVID had struck, it had seriously affected the numbers and the whole family of the ASK but luckily as a country we got out of it and now we have had an opportunity for Kenyans to showcase what they are doing blended with international uh, organizations and companies now the agricultural show and what it stands for has been with us for many years. This year, we are boasting of a potential bumper harvest when it comes to our staple food, that is maize flour, or maize for that matter. Farmers were able to increase their production so that we anticipate to have about 44 million bags of maize up from about 34. So that is an increase of about 10 million bags. And the level of acreage that was expanded or cultivated was increased by 200,000 acres. So clearly, coming out of the drought, the efforts of the government in ensuring that farm inputs and in particular fertilizer was made available
to very many farmers at affordable prices ha has bore fruit. We also want to make sure that this support is extended to farmers also at the post-harvest level where they'll be supported by dryers or drying facilities so that uh, the losses that could ensue, bearing in mind that the Met has advised us that there's a potential of El Nino, again, is going to be a very critical intervention that the government uh, needs to put in place and is going to put in place uh, so that we can support our farmers.